Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep. Good. There we go. Well, good evening. We're here at the Vetter River campground. I'm here with a buddy, Will. We're going to go fishing for Chinook coho and pink salmon here in the Vetter River. Yeah, so I'm, I'll bring you along for the adventure, and so I'm pretty excited. Shake. Oh, mine's almost ready. Yep. So, a couple of things to rant about here. How in the heck do you spend 18 bucks on some freaking potato salad? What's up, Savon? It's not that good. It is. I think it's the best potato salad I've ever had. Really? Yeah. $18 worth? I don't know about that. It's the best potato salad I've ever had. Okay, but the one thing we must say, the one thing I am not happy about, we bought some roe. I don't have any roe. We're using roe for bait here. This roe, right here, your typical roe. Potskis, salmon cure, or salmon roll. There it is, right there. Guess how much that was at Fred's. Everyone take a guess. $25, $24.95. What the heck, Fred? Like, this is like, is this like salmon season pricing or something like that? That's ridiculous, honestly. It looks exactly the same as uh, yeah, berries, it's, bait, and tackle. Yeah, roll. berries, it's all the same stuff. Anyway, that's ridiculous. It shouldn't be that much. Rant over. All right, we have arrived at the location. All right, like we do, as you guys know my setup, we have everything pre-rigged. We have everything set up, we've got my bobber 20 grams got a little uh, weight do a lock and what I'm gonna clip on there is my swivel and leader and that'll have my little bait hook and of course a row pink salmon so we're just gonna do this clip this on like that and I've already tied a little egg loop knot. So you just hook on the piece of row there and then use this to cinch the bait. So it's gonna cinch like that. Not too tight, otherwise you'll lose your bait real quickly. All right, let's check, have a look at this bro here. Do you want a piece, Will? Yes, please. There you go. Look like the uh, little sour berries by the five cent, I guess, five cent candy store there. So there, let's cinch that around like that. Boom, look at that, woo hoo, ready to fish. Well, daily debrief, scale of one to 10 on how much we suck at fishing. You go first. Uh, I don't, I don't think that's a fair. Yeah, it's not fair. I don't think it's that, not fair. You know. we, we, we don't suck. We, we get, we get a lot of effort, a lot of marks for effort. And in today's society, you get ribbons just for trying. I give myself the honorary Guggen award for not catching jack squat that's why it's fishing you know you can't have a camping trip without fire so beauty beauty oh yeah all right that's it for now we'll be back in the morning hopefully with some Better fishing. Some actual fish. Good night. We'll see you soon. Fish on. Good morning. It is 5.21 a.m. 
we're up and we are about an hour before first light so we're just getting ready <clears throat> all the morning things I'm tired here we go super enthusiastic here We're on an island. This is our real estate space, Saturday morning. That's all you get on the better. Lots of guys out. Fish on there, careful. It's a spring. Yeah, it feels one. Okay, thanks dude. I might have to come down there. I'll just... I know, he's in the fast stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. No, I'm good. Yeah. He's just, he's not, he's, he's bulldogging me right now. <sighs> yeah, that'd be great. This is a heavy fish. No. Don't go further than that log. Uh 30 braid and then a 12 pound leader. Yeah, the leader might be trouble. I can see the bobber. It's head chicken. There he goes. He's running down there towards you guys just as a... Oh, he's big. Oh man, I can't breathe the adrenaline is going so hard. Man, <sighs> yeah. yeah. He's dying bright too. Yeah. Yeah.
I'm gonna tow him on. That was a big spring. Holy smokes. Give me your number. Uh, that's beautiful. That's a Mondo. <sighs> Holy cow, how many tits? Wow. He's clean too. Yeah, he is clean. He looks 50. His eyeball popped out, eh? He, uh, it's hard to. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's big, man. He's oh, thick, he's nice. hey? Yeah. Could be a. I think uh, it's. 15 pounder? Yeah. 15, maybe 16. I need to get a scale. Oh. That, uh, that fires me up right there. Would you mind taking my photo with my camera? Sorry, I just interrupt your fishing. Thanks, man. Back at the campsite here we're uh we're done about ready to head home and well that was all that hard work it finally turned out for the good we got some row that's the spring row so i don't have to buy spend 25 dollars at fred's or some of these other places there's some pink row and uh and that was it. That's the trip. So we're gonna smoke those bad boys. We're gonna smoke the white spring or white spring, the Chinook, white Chinook, and um, and the pink, and then uh, we'll cure up that row. Um, yeah. So we just had a great time out here camping and uh, enjoying the the Vetter River, and, and that's about it. I guess the next video will be coho. So I'm looking forward to getting out for some of those. And stay tuned for the next uh, installment, part four of the Zombie Chum Awakening. I think it's gonna be good. I think so. We'll see. Thanks again for watching, guys.
because it was right right by the right by the blade so it may have just gotten caught up in its teeth there and just sliced it right off so who knows what happened but anyway uh lost that one but we got the chinook so good trip all in all